So, this call is a consortium consisting of many representatives from academia, policy makers, industry to generate some standard recommendation for the analysis of quality of life in cancer studies. CISICOL IMI is a large consortium, so we've got at least 100 people from at least 20 or so different countries and from 41 organizations. So getting them together on a regular basis is very important. That's been very difficult with COVID. And so today has been the first time that we've got them all together and it's been a really successful meeting face-to-face -face here in uh, Spain. So we had an initial look at the status quo um, we came up with some initial recommendation for the analysis of cancer randomized clinical trials, single arm studies. We also made some progress with regards to the display of, of data in order to uh, <coughs> communicate the results to patients, healthcare professionals and regulators. And we also looked at many more important clinical differences. The yearly consensus meetings are when we vote on a set of recommendations or statements and that's really critical because we need everybody or at least two-thirds of the participants to agree on the recommendations and if we don't get that it's a failure and if we get above two-thirds then it's a success. The recommendations are aimed to facilitate uh, the use of this data in actual decision making. I would say the major important uh, application of this data is to inform shared decision making between patient and their treating physician. Today we had a lot of discussion about the future important issues, about missing data, about dealing with death and about all aspects of analysis. So we'll be going away, taking these lessons away from this meeting in Spain and we'll be working with our various work package leaders and hopefully we'll be able to formulate some more recommendations in December so that when we come back in May we'll be able to do some more voting.